Thanks for staying tuned to STL TV Live. I'm Erica Parr, and now I'd like to welcome our guests, Gregory Carr and Kelsey McGuire from The Tempest. How are you all? Hi, thank Great. you. Yes, Great. I'm um, so. Yeah, you're going to do a production of The Tempest. So tell me about The Tempest. What does Tempest mean? Um, the Tempest is basically a big storm. Um, I'll just start at the beginning. Um, I play Prospera. It's actually um, in the original script, it's Prospero. It's a male character. Okay. But we switched it to a female character. Um, Prospera is a character who um, is a Duchess of Milan, and she is um, actually plotted to be killed by her brother so sh he could be the Duke of Milan. So sibling rivalry. Sib sibling rivalry um, to the biggest extent. Um, and then she is luckily saved by the people who love her from her state, and they put her on a boat and ship her off to this island for her safety with her daughter. And... Um, Basically, she's a magician, and um, one day her brother is um, out on the ship with the king of Naples, and she makes this big tempest and has him come onto the island so that way she can finally, not necessarily seek her revenge, but basically Redemption. yeah, teach them a lesson. Sounds like Young and the Restless. A little bit. Just <laughs> a, a little, little bit in Shakespeare. Opera. It's right. like the it first is. type of... It is Shakespeare. So, opera. so Kelsey, you're an actress in the <laughs> play, and you're the director. That's correct. Is that correct? Okay, yes. great. So how is directing Shakespeare different than directing fill-in-the-blank any other playwright? Well, directing Shakespeare takes training. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of barriers. One of the first barriers is language. Okay. I mean, we're speaking language from six, the 1600s, but we want to make sure that it conveys I've often uh, told my cast on several occasions it's kind of like watching Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon mm -hmm. and you have to watch the subtitles <laughs> and pay attention and pay attention <laughs> but after a while if the if the show is done well the actors are, are really committed to the roles and they're using their voices their faces and their bodies the can, the message gets across and the audience gets it and the, the, they overcome the language barrier can you all speak in like a Shakespearean kind of say all I know is Oliver <laughs> Twist can I have some more please <laughs> <laughs> that's all I know um, what would you what would Shakespeare say like it's a lot of they um like thee and thou's and like um thou hast said this to me or thou hast done this or um like Oh, what's a really good line that I say? I kind of put you on the I know. Right there. <laughs> um, but no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's like more, old English, yes, basically. Yes, and it's yes. very awesome language to listen to, let mm -hmm. alone speak. Um, it's a lot easier to memorize, I found, rather really? than... Really? Yeah, because it's, it's not something that you're used to. So, I mean, as actors, we find little tricks and ways to memorize lines, but with this kind of like a trick in itself. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot easier to memorize. So how do you transform into Prospera? Is that her name? Yeah. Um, basically, I listen to a lot of music, a lot of things like... Like Jay-Z? Uh, uh, no. no. <laughs> I, I'm more... Like, it's more of an alternative because it's kind of a darker character, mm -hmm. but she's got, like, this heart of gold inside because she does love her daughter and she wants to teach this lesson to her daughter, but yet she has this need to get back at her brother oh, kind of thing. You. So it's kind of like, you know, that evil character that you just love to hate, mm -hmm. but you really want her to win. But then again, is she doing it for the right reason? Yeah, I think I know some people like that yeah. in my life. So, yeah, I think that's excellent. Yeah. So we're going to come back and talk more with you and another guest um, who's going to be your assistant director. Is that right? That's correct. So um, I do want to ask you to take us to break, though, Kelsey, okay? <laughs> okay. In your best Shakespearean accent, just say that um, we'll be right. Well, let me read my part, <laughs> and then you're going to say your part, okay? So when we come back. We're going to be right back after this with uh, Eric Weininger, who's an assistant director, and to say we'll be right back with, ST with more STL TV Live. Can you say that? Yeah. We'll be right back after, um, if I can say it right. <laughs> sorry, say, um, we'll be right back with STL Live. That's exactly right. <laughs> We're going to talk more about the Tempest that's going to be on UMSO's campus right after the break.